Hey everyone, this is Ryan from Got Oil Supplies, and I am here today to show you guys a quick demo on how to clean your essential oil diffusers. Now, we get this question a ton, and so we're going to do this little quick tutorial. I'm going to show you two ways that you can clean your essential oil diffuser. Now, a lot of people are like, I didn't even know I'm supposed to clean my essential oil diffusers. And so there's a couple reasons you're going to want to clean your, your essential oil diffusers. Number one is if your diffusers don't work like they used to, you need to clean it. And number two is if you want to switch out the essential oils that you've used in your diffuser or if it has a certain scent that you're trying to get rid of, you're going to need to clean your diffuser. And so you can see right here I have one of our Amber Mist bottles from Halloween that I need to clean. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the top of this. And this may be um, kind of hard to see, but I'm going to hold it up and show you guys the inside of this. Now I don't know if you can tell or not, but there is a little oil buildup on the bottom of this essential oil diffuser. It's kind of brown around the edges, and there's a little buildup on that white disc right in the middle of the diffuser. Now this little white disc right in the bottom, this is the oscillator. And so what happens is it vibrates at a super high speed. And this is what causes the, the mist um, to come up out of your diffuser. And so when the water evaporates and when the oil evaporates, the, there's, there's still some oil residue because the oil doesn't evaporate um, the same way the water does. And so you get this brown buildup right here on the bottom. And I can still, I can still smell the, the fall essential oils on the inside. And so, and so number one, we need to get all this essential oil residue out of the diffuser. And we need to make sure that we keep this oscillator clean. And so this, and I saw this super easy, and then I'm going to show you how to do this right now. So you're going to unplug your diffuser. Mine's already unplugged. And what you're going to do is you're going to fill it up to the max water line with just pure water. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take just some regular distilled white vinegar, and you only need approximately about a teaspoon. So you you can either measure it out or you can just pour a little distilled vinegar right here, about a teaspoon, into your diffuser. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put your diffuser back together and you're going to run it from, run it at least 10 to 15 minutes. You can run it longer if you want, but at least 15 minutes. And once you've run your diffuser for the 15 minutes, you're going to, you're going to take it apart again and you're going to take the remaining water and vinegar that's left inside your diffuser and you're going to dump it out into the sink. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take um, a con swab. And sometimes diffusers come with these black brushes that are plastic and have bristles. And a lot of people are like, why does my diffuser come with this brush? And it's for this purpose exactly. You're gonna, what you're going to do is you can either take the Q-tip or a cotton swab or the black brush that some diffusers come with. And you're going to take the Q-tip inside and you're going to wipe the residue along the side of the diffuser. And then once you do that, I always like taking the, the clean side of the Q-tip, the other side, and I like to get in there, and it's super hard to see, I apologize. But you're just going to wipe it gently um, around the oscillator until all the residue is gone. So you're going to wipe it off, and then, and you kind of see it right there. You can kind of see how that oscillator is um, sparkling white. That's exactly how you want it to look. And if you want, and if you can look at the Q-tip, it's really hard to see, and I apologize, but you can see the oil residue that you were able to uh, extract by, by doing this. And then I would recommend rinsing out your essential oil diffuser and dumping out the water, and then put clean water, new essential oils, and your diffuser is clean and ready to go. Super simple. So that's the first, um, that's the first method that we recommend. And we also have this method in our um, diffusing essential oil booklet. So inside of our, um, our booklet, we, we show you how to clean, maintain, and use your essential oils. And so if you want a reference on how to clean your essential oil diffusers in the future, 
Uh, go pick up our Diffusing Essential Oils booklet on GodAllSupplies.com right now. And so the other, I mentioned there was two methods. The other method that you can use is um, Spa Room and other companies um, put out, these are Cleansor tablets. Uh, they are diffuser cleaning tablets. It's basically close to the same thing. What you're going to do is you're going to fill up your diffuser with water, uh, put in one of these tablets, and then just let your diffuser run. And when it's done, you're going to clean it out with a Q-tip, just like I showed you, and your diffuser will be clean. These Cleansor tablets are also available on GodOilSupplies.com. And so, and that is it. So again, if your diffuser isn't working properly, or you want to uh, swap out uh, the scents of your essential oils for another scent, um, clean your essential oil diffuser. And it's great for maintenance. It'll help your essential oils, your diffusers last for a long time. And you, I mean, because you're going to, you love your essential oils. I love diffusing essential oils in my home. Make sure you maintain your diffuser and keep it working well. So that's all I have for you guys. Until next time, keep your essential oil diffusers clean, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.